garage meathead girl, and let me tell you what it takes to be one. First, a garage girl's gym will have some weights. Not all the weights, some. Second, our number one priority is protecting our hands. And a garage girl protects the floor and loads her plate safely. And us girls, we live using the time under tension technique. Because you saw what weights we're working with. And one thing a garage girl is, is resourceful. One thing we are not, is delusional. And we will not, under any circumstance, use vanity weights. Squats are essential to a garage girl's routine, and will turn any machine into a squat rack. But won't let her hand off the bar because safety. That's right. Mr. Moe's on the beat. That's right. Put it down for the street. That's right. This garage me head takes her learnings and implements them into her routine like this Bulgarian squat that she may have literally hated for most of her life and only started to like it because she slides down her waist and figured out the proper stance like this. She also does her waist footage, so here's another view of the Bulgarian squat. The garage girl is a considerate girl and puts away her shit when she's done using it. And when she's feeling parched, she opens her 24-ounce Stanley water bottle and takes a refreshing sip. Last but not least, a garage girl will always finish her workout with a cool-down stretch and watch a vlog or two, but then gets back to cool-down business. Hey! So I want to talk about my training plan. About a few weeks ago, I shared that I wanted to run the Trans Rockies race in Colorado next year. And so it's a six day race at high elevation at lengths that I've never run before which is between a half marathon and a marathon. I can't just run it on a whim. I need a plan. And so I wrote one. I created my plan in Notion, and if you look at the top, there's me, I'm cute. And right below that is a weekly table view of my running and strength program. The next section holds key dates, a packing list, since I'll need to bring camping and running supplies, hotel information, and a training log so I can keep track of all my milestone events. Below that is a slightly more detailed view of my training schedule. My current plan is to build up to a 50k ultra race. So first, I'm going to train for a half marathon and then run that length. Then I'm going to train for a marathon, run that length, train for an ultra, run that length, which should lead me straight into the Trans Rockies race. Wow. Now let's go back up to the top to the table view of my training schedule. This running plan is a combination of two different running plans that I hacked together into one. I didn't actually put any thought into the strength plan. I just threw some days on there. And if I'm being honest with myself, I don't think I did a single strength workout. Bruh. Three weeks into that plan, I couldn't get rid of a lingering hamstring strain, so I had to stop altogether and just focus on lifting because I figured I needed to build up some muscle first. After about two weeks of just weight training, I started adding back in run walks with no issues and then 20 to 30 minute runs, still no issues. Now I'm going to follow the Nike app completely because they incorporate more breaks in between runs. As for strength, I'm gonna try a four day upper lower body split and see how I like that. And then we'll go from there. And that's it. That's my training plan. Not sure how it's gonna go. We're gonna take it day by day, but hopefully this next week will be a good week. We're gonna start off with the things I'm returning. And hold on. Okay. I've been wanting a bold red top. Color, great. Fit, not so good. So if you can see all of this right here, I don't know if maybe it needs to be, oh. Maybe I need a size down. Okay, hold on. Oh, huh, okay. We figured this out together. I just need a size down. This is what it looks like. Next are these shorts. These are the two and a half Hudson shorts, black size small. There's a zipper here, but no zipper here, but they do have pockets on, on oh, they have one pocket on the seam. I'm returning the shorts because the liner, the like the panty liner is too tight. The way that it's cut, 
is uncomfortable. This, it cuts right into my leg when it should be like up higher or looser. So either I need to size up or the fit is just off once again. Next up are these shorts, love them. These shorts are the reason why I even wanted to make a purchase in the first place. These are actually men's. Look at how bold this color. I love how bold the purple is. And I like the, what are these, water drop prints. They advertised this pocket. It's a super deep pocket, so you can put your AirPods in there so you don't have to worry about keys or other important things falling out. I love the way these fit. I love the color. I love the deep pocket, so I'm definitely keeping these shorts. While I was browsing, I said, let's also go for these red shorts. So I also got the women's small ladybug short, and these have little circle patterns, which reminds me of octopus, and I like octopus. The colors don't match. It's still a red short, but this is, I guess, a true red. Unfortunately, the lady pockets are just deep, and they don't have that extra, I don't know, that extra safety pocket in there. In terms of fit, it's a lot looser than the men's extra small, which makes me wonder if I should size up, but I'm not going to. That's another yes in my book for the red shorts. Next up is an outfit swap. I am very excited about this. I love the color combo. Also, this is a snack bag. First, the top. This top is the, it's a splash knit bra, mango, extra small. And there's a, it's mesh paneling, and then this is an adjustable strap in the back. Also front mesh, and it's pretty fitted. I will say that it cuts into my skin a little bit right here, but I also have extra this. This reminds me of a scuba suit, um, which is exactly why I loved it. My normal upper body weight is an extra small, but I'm carrying a little pre-winter weight on me, so I was, I was a little bit nervous about going with the extra small, but it actually, it, it fits. Like, I thought this was gonna cut into my skin, but it doesn't, but it's probably because of this. And I think I can go, yeah, I could size, I could size down on that too and be fine. The only things about this is, like I said, it cuts into my armpit fat. <laughs> and, um, but oh, this part is a little, it can be tight, but you can always just open it up. This is a concern. <laughs> Um, but I real I think it might just because I don't have a lot of boob. If I tighten it, then you don't see it anymore. So, small boobied ladies, add some padding, but only if you want to. MVP award goes to these shorts. Sorry, I didn't do it justice. These shorts. These are the snack six inch short in gray pays and I got them in a size medium. I've never bought anything in a size medium before, but I also don't buy spandex because they cut into my leg. But when I put these on, look. There is no cutting into these big juicy thighs. There is none of that. Also, I have really, my top and bottom sizes are really disproportionate. And so if I do size up, I tend to have gapping in the waist, but look. Like, okay, hold on, I, 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 I'm, I'm sucked. I'm sucked in right now, let me relax. So when I'm relaxed, it's like not super tight, but it, there's no gaps. And when I'm sucked in, still no gap. There's no girl in the world that doesn't like pockets. And these have all the pockets. Pockets and straps. Strap number one, strap number two, strap number three. This is removable. Oh, and, is, and an invisible zipper right here that goes into your back. This backpack has a big pocket and a little pocket. Then on the other side, there's this big thing. I don't know what I would put in there. Let's do a test. Cute. There's a super long pocket that'll fit that could fit my phone. Then in the back, there is I can't see. There's 
a zipper back here, but then you can stick something back here too. Like, let's just act like this is a jacket or a towel. <laughs> I had a feeling I was gonna like this top, so I also got it in black. That's all, folks.